Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. I'm Sananda. I want to propose to you a new journey, a new path. Every day, you need to prepare yourself more and more for the future. It doesn't matter, if the future knocks on your door tomorrow, in a month, in a year, it doesn't matter, the feeling of readiness has to be constant. You always have to be very aware and very confident in each other's ability to remain balanced. New times will come ahead, a new way of living, a new walk. For you, it is a little complicated to imagine what the fifth dimension will be like. I just tell you that nothing of what you experience here, you will experience there. Everything will be much lighter, more peaceful. The energy of the dimension itself will make you feel much lighter, even with this human shell, which you have. The proposal I have, in addition to the calendar I have already given you, is that you keep a little diary every day. The idea is not to write down all the feelings, all the attitudes, no, that's not it. The idea is that you highlight every day those points where you are aware that you made mistakes, that you are not yet ready. But this exercise is not an easy exercise as you often make mistakes and don't even realize it. Often it's just a thought, a little thing out of place, it causes you to lower your vibrations. So, you have to always be very smart, very attentive to every thought, every sentence, every feeling, every action in your day-to-day -day life. It's a proposal. I'm not here demanding that you do it. This will be a way for you to be truly aware of the points you need to improve. Each day, you will write it down. At the end of a week, you will stop and read everything you wrote down the previous week. There's no point in reading it every day, this becomes boring and has no results. Then once a week, you will read all those points where you sinned, in relation to your attitudes, to the fifth dimension. So my brothers, I want to tell you that at this moment, you need to be more and more ready every day. You need to be, not susceptible to what happens in the outside world. Everyone has a journey. Each soul made a choice. Each soul has its own harvests. There is no point in you suffering the suffering of others. That walk is his, not yours. You love him, very well, you don't want to see him suffering, that's great too, but what you can do is donate your love, your understanding. Help him in whatever way possible, but don't take him out of the way. No matter how sad, no matter how heavy, no matter how painful someone else's journey may be, you cannot take them away from it, because when you do that, you are attracting their suffering to yourself. Then there will be two suffering instead of one. Because you won't take suffering out of his way, and I tell you more, that suffering, which you momentarily think you took away from him, will return to him much stronger, very soon. He didn't get rid of the suffering, because you did, on the contrary, a much stronger problem will come, so that he can go through that lesson. Don't live each other's lives, each of you has your own life. You are independent souls, neither depends on the other. Children depend on their parents for upbringing, for food for becoming citizens, nothing more than that. Anything beyond that, you are fooling the path of that soul, which is in that child. So live, each of you, your lives, your problems. Don't involve others in your problems, it's your problem. If you want help, ask those around you, in the astral. That's what you have to do. Don't involve anyone in your suffering. This is unfair. No one is to blame for your suffering. Your suffering is yours and was caused by you, so nobody has anything to do with it. So don't involve people in your suffering. Returning to the idea of the diary, so once a week, you will look at those sheets and you will have a real idea of the points where you need to improve. The points where you have to take precautions so as not to repeat the same mistakes. Do it. I repeat, I'm not forcing anyone to do it, 
it's a suggestion for a new journey. So that you have an idea of how ready you are and how much you are not. But I also want to ask you, that with each line you write, do not feel desperate, nor any less ready to rise, that is not the idea. The idea is not to point the finger at you and say, look how wrong you are. I do not want it. What I want, it's about helping them realize where you need to improve. There are ways and means of seeing the same point. So the point here is not to point out errors, is to show you where you need to improve. So if you have a full sheet, don't worry, this will all pass and you will be able, little by little, to eliminate each of these lines. The important thing is that you are aware of the points that you need to improve. This will be good, because more and more, you will make more effort to get ready for the fifth dimension. So, this is an invitation, not an obligation. Whoever wants to do it, whoever makes my words resonate in their heart, nothing thanks. Your obligation to do something has to come from your heart. We do not force any of you to do anything. So just think, analyze, and do it if you think it's right. I am beside each of you. I am assuming this position, which belonged to Miguel, in leading your lives, with great joy and with much love. And I want to help each one of you, to improve more and more, every day, at every point. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Trust me. Trust the beings of light that are around you. Ask for their help. If you notice that the same mistake has been repeated all week, ask for help, there is a critical point there, so ask for our help. And we will show you exactly where you need to improve and how to do it. Believe me, you are better than you think. But we are demanding and we want you to pass, with a score of 10. That is our objective. You are already hitting high notes, but we want the maximum, we want 10. So think about it, and if your heart resonates, do it. And you will see, how little by little, you will improve more and more. I am Sananda. I am here at the disposal of any of you, be sure of that.